Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out what are three common but very much under the radar blind spots that prevent awesome women from finding love, we'll stick around because I'll be revealing them on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you three common but under the radar blind spots that prevent amazing women from finding love. A blind spot is simply, in the context that I'm speaking about, an area of your life that you don't necessarily see that exists, but it's preventing you, you're hitting that ceiling, and you're not sure where the ceiling is, or why it is that you're hitting it. So I'm gonna talk about three blind spots. The first one is a lack of self-awareness, and I'm gonna relate it to, there's many areas of lack of self-awareness in women, but I'm talk, gonna talk about one that is very basic, and that's openness. Lack of self-awareness in regards to the degree of openness that you express as a woman. Because openness is one of those feminine qualities that allow you to be approachable, not approachable, that allow men to feel something or to think something when they see you. And the difference between a man thinking something about you and feeling something about you is the level of willingness they have to take action, the level of inspiration that they feel to go the extra mile and almost like break the code of what it would take to conquer your heart. So when women lack self-awareness in terms of the level of openness, that means that they feel like the world is different than it really is because there's women who go out into the world with friendliness and openness of heart and they have a radically different experience than women who go about who are much more guarded and much more cold and much less inviting. So it's rare that somebody, one of your friends will point out the fact that you're not being open enough in this feminine way that I'm talking about. And that's why it's so important to look at your environment and look at the level of connections that you have and look at the number of interactions that you have and look at the number of guys who are feeling inspired to create a connection with you. And if it's not a high number or the quality is not there somehow, simply take inventory of this and notice if you may not be sh sharing a lack of openness in the way you show up, whether it's the way you move, the way you breathe, or the, allow, the allowance of being in your heart when you create a connection with someone. Second blind spot is believing a story that justifies your current reality. It's a blind spot because I connect again with so many women who feel very vehemently, very strongly that the reason why I haven't created this is because I happen to live in this place and in this place, men who are awesome are taken. That would be a story. Or all guys at a certain age look for younger women, right? That's a story again, because there's guys of all different ages who get connected. But as long as you believe that guys in your city are not it, or that you live in a city where it's very, very hard to create personal intimate connections. Here's why this is such a death trap. Because when you buy into a story, you start feeling that that's the reality in the world. So it justifies you taking more action. Because if you live in a city where men don't connect with women the way you want to connect with a guy, then you don't have to do shit about it. You don't have to get uncomfortable. You don't have to open up more. You don't have to tap into your feminine energy. You don't have to go out to more places. You don't have, I mean, you, you basically stay where you are. It's a very comfortable way in the short term because long term it creates a lot of pain. So again, stories, when you believe generalizations, like it's very difficult to, or men are, all men are like this, or when my, women my age are this way, or women who have my body type don't get this. Whenever you think about that type of story, that's a blind spot that's limiting where, <laughs> how to get to experience what you really want. The third one is feeling like you have to be the source of the magic, okay? It's a blind spot because, again, so many women who are taking the right steps and who are uh, creating more openness from their heart come to a point where the result hasn't taken place. They don't understand that once you take massive action, that the results are not immediate, that sometimes the results take time to catch up. And many, many of those times is because in the process of you not getting what you want, you get to discover who you really are and you get to be more of you. More of you gets to shine out. So if in the process you falsely believe that you have to be the source of that feminine radiance, that you have to be the source of that magic, that excitement, it's very exhausting. The contrary of feeling like you have to be the source of magic is understanding that you are pretty much a vessel for that magic. 
that you are a container, much like the banks of a river are not the river, right? There's this flood of water that's coming through the river, and that is the magic that you portray to the outside world. But it doesn't come from the river itself. It comes from the ocean, it comes from the rain, it comes from other places and other sources. So when you relax, once you're taking a lot of action into knowing that there's a bigger source of magic out there, whether you want to call it God, whether you want to call it universal coincidences, whether you want to call it mathematical equations of a highest degree and caliber, whatever you want to call this, there's something beyond yourself that you can tap into that allows you not to have to do this on your own, that allows you not to have to come be the source of this energy, but pretty much be a conduit and be a receptacle and be an open container so that this energy and that this magic can flow through you. And then it doesn't feel like you're doing this on your own. So I hope that these three different blind spots, lack of self-awareness in terms of openness and feminine radiance, believing into a story that's not really true but justifies you staying stuck and feeling like you have to do everything on your own and getting exhausted in the process unnecessarily, that if this means something to you, this is insightful or useful in any way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, I want you to click like on this video. Number two, I want you to subscribe to this channel. And number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen here, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a free webinar that I'm hosting that will show you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff, absolutely free. And uh, if you have any questions for me, place a comment on this video or any of my other videos and I promise to reply to you personally or create a video with an answer just for you. Thank you.